One of the most common mistakes I see readers in the success space make is taking book recommendations from strangers on the internet without being skeptical. If your goal is to become a millionaire and you were only allowed to read one book in your whole life, would you take a recommendation from the random guy in that Facebook group you're in? Or a multi-millionaire like Ty Lopez or Grant Cardone? I think you know the answer. So today, I will show you 10 recommendations, not even from millionaires, but billionaires. If you're interested in grabbing a copy of any of these, feel free to use my affiliate links in the description below. Let's get into it. We're going to kick it off with number 10, The Fountainhead by Ayn Rand. This is a recommendation from Mark Cuban. This book is by the same lady that wrote Atlas Shrugged, the book with over 1,000 pages of crap. I stopped reading at 250 pages, so it makes me skeptical about reading this one. But hey, Mark Cuban speaks highly of it and he's a badass dude, so maybe it's worth a shot. Anyway, the book is about a young architect, his violent battle against conventional standards, and his explosive love affair with a beautiful woman who struggles to defeat him. Number 9, The Intelligent Investor. This is a recommendation from Warren Buffett. You know, that, that billionaire guy. He read every single book on investing at his local library when he was a kid. You'll be hard pressed to find any serious investor who doesn't have a copy of this book on his shelf. Remember that Warren Buffett is worth over $76 billion. Book number eight, Autobiography of a Yogi. This one is from Steve Jobs. This was a book Steve prepared to be given to his family and friends at his Stanford Memorial Service. This book is about self-realization and was published about 70 years ago. It tells the story of Paramahansa Yogananda and the experiences of his encounters with saints and sages, 10 years of training under a revered yoga master, 30 years that he lived and taught in America, and his encounter with Gandhi. It's now a modern spiritual classic. Moving on to book number 7, A Capital in the 21st Century by Thomas Piketty. This is a recommendation from Bill Gates. So, Thomas Piketty is some dude who analyzed data from 20 countries since the 18th century to uncover economic and social patterns. The book outlines the problems with inequality in the world. Book number six, Benjamin Franklin. So you may have learned in school that Benjamin Franklin flew a kite in the sky, attached with a metal rod and proved that lightning is electricity. He was also a badass entrepreneur who went from a leather apron shopkeeper to dining with the kings. He was a scientist, inventor, diplomat, writer, business strategist, and I could go on. He helped shape the Declaration of Independence. He created bifocals, but most importantly, he continually reinvented himself. Book 5, Influence, The Psychology of Persuasion by Robert Cialdini. Now, this is a recommendation from Charlie Munger. He's the vice president of Berkshire Hathaway and is basically Warren Buffett's business partner. If you had to stick a needle in your eye hole to read this book, it'd be worth it. It presents six weapons of influence you can use to help you with almost anything you want to get out of life. I can't emphasize how powerful they are. I use the principles in this book to initiate successful conversations with huge influencers like Ryan Holiday, Grant Cardone, Elliot Hulse, and more. Before reading the book, I didn't even consider that a possibility, so check out the video summary I made for this book in the description below. Powerful stuff. Book number four, How to Win at the Sport of Business, another one from Mark Cuban. Given he is worth over three billion dollars, why not give this one a shot? Book number three, Be Here Now by Ram Dass. This is another one coming from Steve Jobs. It's apparently a square-shaped book with trippy images. <laughs> a spiritual classic, not your everyday book. There is some hippie counterculture stigma around it, but fans insist that you put your preconceptions aside and read the goddamn book. There's some real valuable stuff in here. All right, we are now at number two with The Effective Executive by Peter Drucker. This recommendation comes from Jeff Bezos, the guy behind Amazon. Five lessons Drucker teaches in this book are managing time, choosing what to contribute to the organization, knowing where and how to mobilize strength for best effect, setting the right priorities, and putting them all together with effective decision making. And that brings us to the last one. Surely you're joking, Mr. Feynman, by Richard Feynman. This was a recommendation 
from Larry Page, the Google guy. I've also read this book and completely understand why anyone would recommend this book. I, c I can't put into words how wacky, whimsical, and enlightening it is to get inside the head of Mr. Feynman. 98,922 Goodreads users have rated this book with a whopping average of 4.29 out of 5 stars. Read it, you won't be disappointed. Thanks for watching guys, and if you're new here, click the link in the description below to sign up to my email list, where I share 3 golden nuggets from the book I'm reading each week. And if you want to grab any of the books in this video, feel free to use my affiliate links below. Cheers.